<laughs> grass is growing now, but so are the weeds. Many of you know that. Many people use chemical sprays trying to eliminate them. And some local experts say you may want to rethink what products you use to take care of your lawn. 27 First News reporter Dan Marcel is in the studio now with more details. Well, Dave and Erica, I spoke with some experts today who say that before you get started spraying your lawn with pesticides, you may want to read the label first. With the warmer weather, it's dandelion season, and with it comes lawn care. People constantly mowing their grass and spraying herb and pesticides to keep the weeds down. But Eric Barrett of Ohio State University Extension says that those kinds of chemicals don't always need to be a first resort. A lot of times, uh, we'll get the first question we get is, what do I spray? And we try to back people up and say, well, what's the issue? What's the problem? What's happening? He says sprays like this can affect pollinators such as bees. Bob Shemlick, who has his own bee removal service, says both insecticides and pesticides pose a danger to bee pollination. They're both about the same. There's one no better than the other. They're both very harmful to the bees. Chemlik says the most harmful kinds of sprays are called neonicotinoids, or neonics for short. The chemical attacks the central nervous system of the insects. A colony of honeybees, you could have 30 or 40,000 bees in a hive, so if you have several hundred of them dying at one time, it'll plug up the hive. Last month, the Ohio-based garden care company Ortho said it would stop using the chemical because of the threat to honeybees. So while you're tending your landscaping this spring season, Barrett says one of the best things you can do is ask yourself. Do you really need to use this? Does it need to be sprayed on this uh, crop or this shrub or this plant or this flower, whatever it is? Now, Barrett also said that if you're looking for a fresh-looking, healthy lawn, the best thing to do is to take care of your lawn all year, not just in the spring, and keep the grass about three inches high. For now, in the studio, Dan Marcel, WKBN 27 First News.